As much as I like these mechanical thermostatic expansion valves, now we have some new technology. We actually have electronic expansion valves, and they're going to be doing the same thing. They're going to be opening and closing to control the amount of refrigerant inside this evaporator coil. These EEVs, electric expansion valves, are going to be able to open and close the internal pathway inside, and this is a, a circuit board off of a mini split. And what's going to happen is this will be monitoring a temperature of the coil and, and then also an air temperature in order to open or close the pathway here on a uh, ducted air conditioning system. We might be measuring the coil temperature and also the suction line temperature in order for the circuit board to make the decision in order to uh, basically just slightly shut this a little bit. Basically, the object is that this is going to make minute changes very, very small changes to the pathway inside to have an effective superheat. If you have an effective superheat, then you're going to have an effective amount of phase changing refrigerant in the coil flowing through in order to absorb the heat. So this is going to have 12 volt pulses heading to it in order to open or close the pathway. And so it comes in two pieces like this, stainless steel, or it could just be a, a different type of metal here. Uh, then you have your brass body or your copper body or stainless steel, and then you're going to have your copper tubing. Here you have the EEV head, and so you have multiple teeth on the inside. It might be 40 teeth, and what it's doing is it's taking 12-volt uh, pulses and making it into an electrical magnet and applying magnetic force on the teeth, and it's lining up with a permanent magnet on the inside of the EEV. So these electronic expansion valves actually have over 200 steps between all the way open and all the way closed. And it can do it very, very fast. So like Ty's saying, uh, the amount of steps are 12 volt pulses and it makes these little minute changes in the inside of the body of the EEV. And what may occur is the system may fully shut or fully open the EEV upon the next time it's turning on. What it's doing is it's, it's going to try to locate the pin position by, by putting all the amount of 12 volt pulses on to spin this magnet right here because this is an internal permanent magnet. It's got many north and south poles on it, and so I've got a whole other video on EEVs in order to be able to, to see fully how they work.